Welcome to Cigar Time, and welcome back, everyone. A uh, little piece of business before we roll the show. We get lots of letters, I guess, not letters, emails. Emails. Uh, Do people little, still write letters? <laughs> not that I've ever well, seen. I haven't seen not a lately. letter in a long time. typewriter? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I do get I do get yeah. mail, but they're always asking for money. Yeah, oh, okay. That's, that's the only mail I get anymore. Bill. No, we get we get a ton of emails. I mean, and the emails are all over the lot. Most of them are are well, the vast vast majority are, are very uh, complimentary. I mean, they range the gamut that we'd like to see more of this and more of that. Uh, one of the favorites is more of the pairings with food and and wine or liquor. Uh, obviously, the Paul segments, Paul in the fields, Paul in the factories, Paul everywhere but the outhouse. <laughs> They're very, and, and we've got because we haven't done that yet. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> working it. we're working on that. We're working on that. Uh, even a few from some ladies that wanted to know where Hot Tea buys her shoes, buys her clothes. I mean, it's all really? over the yeah, place. Really? It's true. And we really, really <laughs> appreciate that. So, Why do you think I, you know? Uh, here and now, I'm just sort of uh, winging it here. We're going to create something right here on the set. On the set. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> well, since a lot of you are opinionated, no. and, and we <laughs> value your opinions very, very much, no. uh, how'd you like to be on the show? Awesome. Really? So I love it. What we'll do... Uh, we'll have submissions to our website. Paul, can we create some kind of little box that they can punch the box? And Art for you, I can do anything. I figured that. I figured yeah. That. So let's just create a box that said, why I want to be on the show. Okay. Something like that. I still got to write an essay? <laughs> no, just do try to, to keep it at 10,000 words or less. Yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, do we have right. to do that to stay on the show? Because, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> cool. Great idea. That's, fair. That's a great that's idea. Fair. Here's mine. So tell us why you want to be on the show. <laughs> I'm done. And, and, and we will read each submission. We will look at them. And we will try to find, we'll try to find someone who, who's a lady or a man, who can add something to the show. Be objective. Be subjective. Be whatever you want. Uh, as you know, we keep try to keep it light. We try to inform you. Uh, occasionally, we try to sell a cigar here and there in one of our nine stores. But we always say support your local brick and mortar merchant yes. because that's the heart and soul of this whole industry. Yeah. It started there, mm -hmm. and I guess at the end of the day, it'll end with the brick and mortars, and everything else in the middle will maybe evaporate. But having said all that, I think it's time to. Uh, we oh, should oh, tell oh. people where to go to find this nifty. Ah. That would be at cccigars.com. You notice the people that say it really have heart. And the, <laughs> and, and the ones Seriously, who say I nothing, know you know, will be crawling back into the coffin after the show. Uh, we can't talk over each other, you guys. Yeah, oh, yeah that was that's terrible. the only time we're allowed to talk over each I never stopped you before. That was yeah. terrible. Well, I have a reason not to talk over somebody now. Since oh when? I don't like saying that that's Moody's double. Got. <laughs> they haven't had a cigar yet. They're dying. I think I yeah, really go, you the, 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 uh, the, the <laughs> rattling It's 7.30 and I haven't had a cigar yet. <laughs> I haven't had a cigar yet and it's getting bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to put up with this stuff. All right. It's time for uh, the lovely Miss T to tell us all about our cigar today. Cigar today is the Alec Bradley New York. It was originally made just for the New Yorkers, but it's became such a big hit that they opened it up to the rest of the country. Uh, the wrapper is a Criollo 98. Uh, the binder is a Criollo 98, which is from Honduras in the Trojes region. And the filler is both Nicaraguan and Honduran. Uh, this is rolled at the Fabrica de Tabacos Raices Cubanas factory in Honduras. Wow. I know, right? That's uh, very <laughs> the Alec Bradley cigars, um, they have consistently been in the top 25 in the last five years. So I wouldn't doubt this wouldn't be right up there as well, too. The five sizes are the 6-2, which is a Robusto, the Empire, which is a Toro, the Liberty, which is a Churchill, the Gotham, which is a torpedo and the declaration a grand toro the taste profile is toasty spicy cinnamon cedar and peppery and i say it's between like a mild to medium so all right very nice thank, very thank, nice. You. thank you thank you well i think uh while we're smoking our uh, new york or Alec bradley new york mm -hmm. and, and remember uh, july is Alec Bradley Alec month? Yeah. That's right. Scott will awesome. tell you. Scott will tell you later what we're offering, and uh, it's pretty exciting. But before we do all that, uh, we have a, a little tape to run. 
that uh, is, was made by Alan Rubin, who is the owner of Alec Bradley, and Sam Phillips, who you may remember from the last few weeks, who's their national director and sales executive, VP or something or another of marketing. He's a great guy, wonderful man. Yes, and so is Alan. He's very entertaining. So yes, he's very entertaining. He Alan, I've known him since he got started, and he's a great guy and has done a lot for this industry. So without uh, further ado, here's Alan. Hi, everybody over there at uh, Cigar Cigars. My name is Alan Rubin. I am the owner of Alec Bradley Cigar Company. Uh, my friend Art Toll asked that we do just a little video, tell you a little bit about the company, uh, about our relationship with uh, Art and his stores and, and uh, his fans there at Cigar Cigars, and a little about the new releases. I incorporated the uh, Alec Bradley Cigars in 1996, named after my two boys, Alec and Bradley, who are now both of legal smoking age. And um, over the last five years, we are, I believe, the fastest growing cigar company in the United States. Uh, we've rated really well. We've had great support from guys like Art Toll um, and, uh, and his patrons. And um, so far, we're, we're doing okay. We're having a lot of fun. It's been a great journey. It's been a, ride, been a great ride so far. And I think we're just at the tip of the iceberg. Why don't you talk a little bit about... Uh, about the relationship, you know, with art and uh, and some of that. Absolutely, um, I was just up and did quite a few uh, over the last couple of months. That, oh, that's that's, Sam, with that's art. Sam Phillips. Yeah, Sam, Sam Phillips, Phillips, not the owner of Alec Bradley Cigar Company, by the way. That is for sure. But uh, uh, I had a great time filming the shows. Art and and his crew are amazing, amazing individuals. So I know that he's got nine different locations. I've met several of the management staff. I know that you're definitely going to be taken care of. They're well-educated, very well-versed well in cigars in general. And I know that Art wants you to support tobacconists in general. Yeah. And he had mentioned that a few times on his show. So even if it's not in one of Art's nine locations, and I know that they're... But preferably in one of... Or it's nine locations. Abso absolutely, that you're definitely going to be taken care of. Yeah. I think as a good tobacconist, you know, you want a, a friendly place and, and a good staff and a clean, lo you know, a, a clean atmosphere that's inviting and knowledgeable staff. And I think Art provides all of that with his group and his uh, his management team, uh, the clerks. So uh, we're excited to be a part of what he's doing. We appreciate the support from not only the stores but the patrons of the stores, you guys. And so let me just real quickly go into a couple of the new releases that we're doing. Um, this is our new uh, Alec Bradley the Lineage and uh, as you can see there's uh, some missing. Um, that wasn't by design. We had this on the table and uh, by the time we got to it uh, the people in our office already started going into this box. Uh, we'll fire everybody uh, who's smoking them at the end of the day. But this is a, a really unique blend that we just did. Um, it talks a little bit, it speaks to, to really the heritage of the company. Uh, like I said, when I started the company, my kids, Alec and Bradley, were one and, and four, and now they're both of legal smoking age, and this is kind of like the next generation, almost an homage to the next generation of, uh, of cigar makers, people that want to come into the business, and both Alec and Bradley have uh, shown interest in doing that. And this was about moving generations forward in something that we're very passionate about, about luxury lifestyle, affordable luxury lifestyle, about you know, what cigars do, um, the bonding experience of cigars, the really no other product in the world like a cigar and what, what it does in terms of experience. Um, we worked really hard, this is all Central American tobacco, we worked really hard between certain farms, uh, certain locations within the farms to, to pick certain tobaccos, to stimulate the palate, to create a unique blend, um, probably towards the medium side, but still very satisfying. It's something I think you could smoke any time of the day. Uh, this is Alec Bradley's first 7x70 ring gauge that was actually released. The Alec Bradley Texas Lancero, let me show you here, for actual size. Um, Hold on a second. Let me, let me cut you off. Let me just bring it down to brass tacks here. Okay. Okay. So you saw the cigar. Let me show you something. Whether you're a righty or a lefty, this baseball bat of a cigar is for you. If you like big cigars, this one was made for you. Okay. That was it. Here's, guys, at the, at, at, at the end of the day, 
make sure you get to Cigar Cigars. See Art and or one of his clerks, managers at all, all nine locations. Right. We're ecstatic to be a part of his Alec Bradley month. And the deals that they're running, I know, are phenomenal. Don't tell Alan about them. Yeah. I know they're phenomenal. What deals? Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. That was very informative. And thanks for the shout outs. And didn't know you cared about me that much, but uh, <laughs> he's the one. Nothing he does. It's, but. it's very much appreciated. <laughs> I'll, I'll expect flowers on Valentine's Day and my birthday. No, seriously, just keep making great cigars. Don't worry about the flowers. Uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess it's time for us to talk about the cigar? Or, or no. Is, is, no, not time I, to I, talk I, about not, the cigar? It's probably five minutes. We gotta smoke I know, not Paul in the factory? Not yet. Not yeah. yet. Well, let's talk about a topic. <laughs> talk about a topic. Well, I have one. Mm. I've noticed, and, and, it, and it really hit home this morning as I was driving in, a massive societal change. When I was a youngster, somebody my age now would have one foot in the grave and one foot in the banana peel. Now, people my age are, you know, running marathons, going long distance and swimming miles and working like a fool like me, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what know. really drove it home, what really drove it home, and this is talk about left field, a few months ago, XM Radio, which I was a charter subscriber, been listening to for I don't know how many years now. Uh, He's a charter. I listened to four different channels. Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 6, Channel 7. As you might uh, guess, Channel 4 is music from the golden age, the 40s, the 30s and 40s. The 50s, the birthplace of rock and roll. The 60s, the continuum and the English invasion. And the 70s, didn't understand a lot of the words, but I like the music. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not understand it back then or now? Well, when they played back it backwards. Back then, I know why you didn't. It, 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 oh, yeah, that was pretty good. When they played it backwards, I sort of got it. They all sounded like Abbey Road, though. So. I've done that. But what happened a few months ago, all of a sudden, Channel 4 became the Billy Joel channel. Yeah. Yeah. I got to tell you, I love Billy Joel. I've seen Billy Joel in concert <laughs> several times. Uh, I even like some of the women he married. So... And I can listen to Piano Man at least three or four times a day, and Allentown three or four times a day. I get it. Down but Easter, I, Alexa. Yeah, something Love like that. Love that song. And but I really miss my golden age. I really miss my Benny Goodman and, and my the jazz and, 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 and you know, Martha Tilton and all the great singers and the bands. Movies. And it drove me nuts. So I went online to see if I was the only one missing this. And apparently there was a pretty big outrage. Now, where I'm coming to in this long, bloated story. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I, I know. That's <laughs> I know. We'll be done with the show before he's finished. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, XM got it. Because this morning, they restored jazz. They restored the big band. They restored Channel 4 to what Channel 4 was. Because a bunch of old farts like me screamed and yelled and jumped up and down. Now, 40, 50 years ago, that wouldn't have happened. We'd have been happy to get our social security check and our bottle of Geritol. <laughs> and box of Depends. <laughs> Not me. I'm going out before that. So I guess if you follow this long, laborious story, you get the point. The point is that the oldsters, the old timers like me and several now graying society, uh, we get it. We get it. We vote. We make noise when we're displeased. Don't screw with us. There's, they, one, there's a one old man who was very upset that they switched back. One? Yeah, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they put him on Channel 209 did they move, or something. Did they move him? I haven't figured it out. I tuned on okay, Channel the 4 is, and there but, it was. But the thing is, XM does that all the time. XM and Sirius, they do that all the time. They take certain stations and for a short period of time yeah, this was several change months. it. Well, yeah. It but makes it was, you hunt it around. Was, it was only going to be on for a short oh, no, no, period no. of time anyway. The 40s, no, no, no. The 40s were off altogether. No, no, no. Just for a short period of time, they had always planned on bringing it back. So, well, that's the way it is all the time. Does Billy Joel smoke cigars? I think the screaming, think the screaming and yelling of us. But the thing is, they also <laughs> they also have the Monty Python channel. They did that for a short period, like a couple months. Does Monty Python smoke that. cigars? I think they might. All of them. Monty does, but Python, Python doesn't. Does. <laughs> okay. But it was only for a short period of time. It was never going to be 
I was strictly changing it to Billy Joel. Is the whole this time. a cigar show? Yeah. No, I you brought a radio. Brought it up. You yeah. brought it up. I, I, thought, I, thought, I they, thought it had a cigar theme with it, but... Well, there right. is a cigar theme. You know, during the 30s He was smoking a cigar when he was thinking about it. Yeah, Benny <laughs> you know, he used, to, he used to alternate from his clarinet so to a cigar. So now what's going to happen is all these, you know, the older generations are come, start coming and complaining with us, and we're going to have to... I think we should, you know, the old people should stand up. It isn't always about AARP. Senior citizens. Scott, you know, we're about to be the older generation. So we vote, we I think. Should, I, should, I, I think it's time to move on. Like I think it's time to do. To, yeah, I to think I vote. On. Let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. <laughs> let's spend five minutes voting and talking about it. Oh, okay. my God. All right, let's talk about this cigar. Mm. Yeah. Paul? I like it a lot. It's got exactly what they said it was going to have. It's spicy. It's got some uh, cedar, and mm -hmm. it's toasty. The pepper is there. It's very much a medium-bodied smoke, but it, it covers your whole palate. I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, I agree with the spice, um, and I think I agree with the cinnamon. I, I know that sounds strange, but I'm uh -huh. just suddenly getting the, the top and the back of my mouth, I'm getting something that's a little, yeah, sweet. A little sweet finish. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's the cinnamon. Um, and I agree with the pepper that goes right along with the spicy. And uh, I love speaking of cinnamon. That's a, that's a great wrapper. I mean, it it's is got beautiful. a real yeah, that's, right. that's got a real. It's almost like a color. risotto. Yeah, yeah. The, almost yeah. like a red shade. I love Creo ninety eight stuff. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah. The the <coughs> the guy who runs the factory, who founded the factory, and who grows this tobacco, really pioneered Criollo ninety eight in Honduras. It was growing in other places, but he brought it to Honduras. Oh. We used to have a cri uh, Criollo yeah, 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 cigar yeah, yeah. that we sold for a dollar ninety nine. So it, it was good. so good. What, oh my god! It was a great yeah, cigar. From yeah, tropical tobacco. It had like a little very, pine very tree good. on the label. Yeah, it was awesome. It was very good for. It was like a dollar ninety nine. And box, we used to sell yeah. tons of these cigars. I wonder that came in. It was our buy... biggest selling cigar we had before yeah. we had, we brought in the Eduardos. That's right. Wow. Miss yeah. T. Um. Yeah, I agree with everybody on the cigar. Uh, it's a lot of smoke in my mouth. I love it. When I first lit it up, it was really spicy, and then it mellowed out right away. I'm, I mean, like in three puffs. So that was really nice. Um, the band is beautiful. Has the Empire State Building on it. Um, yeah, good cigar. Oh, look at that. I agree. Um, this cigar is it's very good. It's very smooth. I do get the spiciness, but that's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. um, I think it complements the, the toasty, uh, cedary pepper taste to it. Um, this cigar came out uh, a while ago to come offset the tax in New York when their tax went up to 78%. Right. And they tried to keep the price down. <laughs> what? Nothing. They tried to keep the price down. So this is an inexpensive cigar. Um, and since it became so popular, they just opened it up to everybody and, and brought it out. Yeah, it's, there was, very there was a time where you could only buy the cigar only buy it in, in New York. York. Right. In New York, right. Exactly. Did you know that this is not the first cigar to use the name New York in it? I do not. He almost used it. There you go. Yeah, the, they were first. Win a Koopy doll. Mm -hmm. That was 19, <laughs> I can tell I, you what I it was. I read about 1998. that. 1998. Yes. You're right. You went to I know I'm right. Okay. Okay. Is there any ever doubt? Yes. You've been really? wrong, I think, maybe one time ever. Do I get yeah, the ever. Oh, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's this year with the Do uh, I get the to home say months. anything? No, it's not over yet. <laughs> what? The 75 about the, home Hey, did you, did you see You're them? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They've been it's doing a pretty well show. lately. I get to say something about this cigar. Go ahead. I Go want ahead. my time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I want my star. Go ahead. You just I got it. I want my close-up. Oh, Mr. God. DeMille. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is a lot lighter cigar than I thought. This is more in my wheelhouse. It has a lot of smoke, a lot of pleasant taste. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering whatsoever. Uh, what's the price point for this cigar? It's very inexpensive. Not, not seven very, bucks, but it's maybe. about six. Oh, between great. six and seven dollars. Yeah. That's a new sweet you, spot. You find this mild? <clears throat> I find this I more find mild, mild than medium. medium. I find mild to medium. I don't think it's medium. medium at all. Because oh, really? because it's so it it it, it um, levels out so much. Yeah, like, it is very it, it just very gets, smooth, very mild. Yeah. But the flavors lay on your palate mm -hmm. so they do. They do. Right. It's nice yeah. it's I don't get any of the cinnamon though. I get a little sweet finish on it. I don't like like sweet. I don't know what it is. It's almost like caramel. It's a little sweet. Right. Oh, I have something to say. I have to just say this. Somebody asked me, right, what my favorite cookie was, and I said me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Did I hear that I right? Didn't what? Say that. I swear. And I was like, oh me. Did I hear that right? Yeah, I just. Did she say that? Actually, I don't know. came out of her mouth. Right. Okay. okay. Anyway, I thought. All right, it was it's time to rate it because we're going to run out of time. <laughs> well, we're talking about food. 
Okay. <laughs> you what? We'll start with Paul. <laughs> oh, a number? <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, that's what we do on this show, a number. Uh, <laughs> We're doing a number on the audience I'd right give now. it a 475. I like it a lot. Okay. Mm, that's high. Especially if I haven't smoked for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you managed to live all this time. Beautiful wrapper, great yeah. construction, great color, lots of smoke, fills your whole palate. Yeah. Um, I wish I could figure out what that sweetness was, but uh, I'll give it a 4.5. It's a cookie. I enjoy this one a lot. It's a it's a cookie. <laughs> it's a cookie. It's a cookie. But okay. What's, but what's uh, it doing? You know, factoring the price point um, and just the idea behind the actual cigar itself. I, you know, I love a backstory. I'd say a four and a half. Rob? Bad, not bad. Uh, I have to agree with Paul. I like. I give it a four seven five. <sighs> Makes my job easy. Yeah. Well, I can't really add anything to it. I mean, the price point makes it really a yummy cigar. I mean, it's very tasty, very pleasant to smoke, and uh, I'm going to give it a 4.625, which makes the overall exactly. rating 4265. Boy, right. did I was out of that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, boy, oh boy. I think uh, we have an event upcoming very soon. With actually, the we Alec do. Bradley. Well, well, actually, all month long, if you buy any 20 Alec Bradley, you can get a 10 pack of Alec Bradley. Only another week to go. Another week. Uh, that's through all of July for 10 bucks. That's awesome. If you buy a, any 10 Alec Bradley, mix and match, whatever you want, you can get that uh, a five pack for $10. And they're expensive, some expensive cigars in that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The value yeah. is, what was the value? 65 Also, the pack the is a variety. Pack? About 65 yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a variety. You can sell a of them, you know that? Oh, my God. It's crazy. Yeah. Are we going to do a competition um, so you can sell the most? We should. <laughs> yeah. uh, and actually, this weekend, George Sosa is going to be in a couple of our stores. He's going to be in Horsham on Friday from 11 to 3, then Colmar from 5 to 8. Then uh, this Saturday, George is going to be in uh, Fraser from 11 to 3, and then Oxford Valley from 5 to 8. Did you, so. And George is an old, dear friend of ours. I've known George for about almost the time he's been in the scar business, close to 20 years. And he's a great guy. Uh, I hope you all come out and meet him. He's got great stories. Uh, they call him the Master Chef or Master Chief or Master whatever Chief. from his military <laughs> days. Chief. Well, Chef. he also, if you look at him, he We're could be a Master food. Chef, too. We're back on the food. Yeah, he's a good cook. Uh, he, 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 he's one of the, the, the good guys in our industry, and yeah. we always enjoy seeing him. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed today's program. Uh, I'll let everybody say their customary goodbyes. No poll in the field? Oh, you know, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we have a piece, Paul in the Fields, that we're going to run right now.
thank you, Paul. That was very informative. Interesting. Interesting slide presentation. It was fun to be there. Time to say goodbye quickly. Quickly. Hurry up. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. Bye, Dad. Quickly. Bye for now, everybody. Hi, Mom. Life's too short. Smoke short cigar. I told folks. Smoke long for him. I'm all happy. Life's too sweet to smoke short. I forgot all about that. I was under pressure. I forgot all about that. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye bye. Bye.